We are learning more tonight about the lineman who died on the job in Granger County yesterday. You know, as we told you yesterday, the Appalachian Electric Cooperative announced that Nathan Potter was electrocuted while crews were working to install a new service in the area. Six News reporter Ella Wales found out how his co-workers are remembering him and their message about the dangers of this job. Nathan Potter was working in this Rutledge neighborhood when his life was suddenly cut short. That risk is something linemen face every day. It's still tough to process and, and it's going to take a long time. It's just not going to it's not going to be the same without Nathan Potter. His co-workers at Appalachian Electric Cooperative say he was more than just a skilled lineman. He was also a husband and father of three girls. They've got a 11 uh, year old, uh, a year and a half old and a four month old and uh, I mean, they depended on Nate for a lot of things, not just financially. I mean, he was he was a supportive husband. He was a supportive dad. Those girls worshipped him, and they did everything with him. Matthew Ferris worked alongside Potter. Their families became close. Ferris's wife starting a fundraiser to help support Potter's wife, who's a stay-at-home mom, through the tragedy. He would do it. He would do it for any of us. He was a fighter. He was a strong-willed person, and. He'd bend over backwards, do anything he could to help any of our families. So it's only right that we come do this stuff for them. The loss of their friend also highlighting the dangers of the job. We have safety meetings on Monday mornings. You hear about stuff like that happening out somewhere else. And, you know, it, it crosses your mind, but it never in a thousand years you think it's going to happen at home. It's not going to happen to the guy you work beside every day. And that's. You know, it's not, it's not going to be the same without Nathan. Tosha is investigating the circumstances that led to the electrocution. The investigation could take up to six months. In Granger County, Ella Wales, six on your side. The fundraiser for Potter's family that Ella just told us about will be linked with this story on our website, wate.com.